There are many benefits to using cover crops to build soil health, but their application can vary based on how you want to use your land. Don told us about his experience using cover crops for grazing rather than vegetable or row cropping and how he overcame some unexpected speed bumps along the way. I've learned to be very cautious on cover crops because when I jumped in on the cover crops, all the research and data and everything they were doing was row croppers. I am not a row cropper. I was buying cover crops and dang if it didn't do what it's supposed to, it smothered my perennials out. So I said, wait a minute, something's wrong here. I, you know, I want a cover crop that I can use to build my soil and as a forage. And that's the only cover crops I'll use. If he can build my soil and I can use it as a forage, I will use it. And I also now have learned to cut my seeding rate down because I, you know, I have perennials and I don't want to really smother them. I need grazing, but I want to build my soil. My plans for that place are that on the upper end, which with three or four acres, is to plant try some natives, uh, native grass. I hadn't planted any natives, but I'd like to give a shot at natives. And then I'm gonna work with Patrick to see what what forage is he would like to plant to finish his uh, stock. For the past three years, we've had no chemical inputs on this land. We've got it in cover uh, this winter. We got our cover in late, and um, we're trying to convert this over to an organic style of agriculture. Mm -hmm.